What is Direct Online Motor Starter? Considered the most simple motor starter option, Direct Online or DOL is a full voltage motor starter. Through a switch or a contactor, this starter instantly connects a motor to the power supply. This full voltage connection can cause the motor to draw an inrush current of 5 to 8 times of its normal operating current, making DOL starter generally applicable with low rated motors under 5 horsepower or 4 kilowatts. This type of starters are commonly used to start small domestic water pumps, conveyor belts, fans, and compressors. There are three main components needed to build a DOL starter. Number 1. Molded Case Circuit Breaker or MCCB. This is used to manually connect and disconnect the power circuit of the starter to the main supply. This also serves as a protection, to trip, and isolate excessive high current from short circuits, to prevent farther damage to other part of the system. 2. A contactor is an electromechanical device, operated by an electric coil that allows automatic and remote switching to start or stop an electrical equipment. 3. Overload Relay. This is a protection device that prevent motor burns or damage, by monitoring the current of the motor circuit, and breaking the circuit when an overcurrent being drawn by the motor is detected. The secondary components are control devices, its requirements varies depending on the application of motors, which are driving the equipment. For this lecture, we use a start and stop push buttons with momentary held contacts. Miniature circuit breaker or MCB, and a step-down transformer for the control circuits. This is a sample schematic diagram of DOL starter. The diagram have two sections. The power, and the control diagram. Let's us wire the components base on the schematic diagram. Follow the termination as per assign connection points on each components. Please note, in some DOL starter setup, a control transformer is not required, if the contactor coil, and other control device have the same voltage rating with respect to main power supply. With the use of schematic and pictorial diagram I will explain the DOL starter sequence of operation. First, be aware that the actual operation sequence is taking place in a fraction of a second. The sequence of operations are presented slowly, and detailed to follow and understand easily. Imagine that the white dots represent voltage present in the feeders or wire. At the start, the voltage is only at the line side of MCCB and MCB. Switch on the MCCB to power on the power circuit. The three-phase voltage will be present at L1, L2 and L3 terminals of the contactor. Next switch on the MCB, to energize the step-down transformer and the control circuit. Control voltage will be present between the feeder of transformer terminal X1, and contactor coil terminal A2. Voltage will also be detected in feeders between transformer terminal X2, stop push button terminal 1 and 2, start push button terminal 3, and ends in terminal 13 of contactor KM1, due to a break from normally open auxiliary contact. The NO contact in the start push button also breaks the control circuit, thus contactor coil is not energized through its terminal A1. To run the motor, press the start push button. Once the push button is pressed, the NO contact will close. Voltage in terminal 3 will directly pass terminal 4 then to overload relay terminal 96, and into terminal 14 of auxiliary contact. From the overload relay NC contact 95 and 96, the voltage will pass and reach terminal A1 of the contactor coil. When the close loop in a control circuit is established, the magnetic coil will then be energized and picked up. Then all of KM1 main and auxiliary NO contacts will go to close position. The overload relay in series with the contactor, will have a voltage on its output terminal T1, T2, and T3. The full voltage of the power supply will be fed to the motor terminals. Then motor will quickly start to rotate, while drawing high inrush current, and will normalize after reaching its full speed. The holding or auxiliary contact NO with terminals 13 and 14 are wired in parallel to the start push button terminal 3 and 4 respectively. What it does, is to hold the coil circuit in close loop, just after closing momentary the NO contact of the start push button. 
Releasing the start push button does not stop the motor which is in running status already. To stop the motor from running, a break in the control circuit should take place either from pressing the stop push button, or a trip signal from the overload relay. Next, normal stop sequence. Normal stop means using the stop push button to safely put a normally operating motor in complete stop. Once the stop push button is press, the normally close or NC contact goes momentary in open position. A break in the control loop just happened. The control voltage will be cut out starting from terminal 1 and 2 of stop push button, then next in the following order, terminal 3 of start push button, terminal 13 and 14 of KM1 holding contact, terminal 4 of start push button, terminal 96 and 95 of the overload relay, then last to terminal A1 of KM1 magnetic coil. Contactor magnetic coil will be de-energized then drop out. The main and auxiliary contacts of KM1 will go back to its normal open position. Power voltage will be cut from KM1 main contacts, to overload relay output terminal T1, T2 and T3. Finally, no power voltage to motor input terminals. The motor will rotate slow, and then come to its complete stop. Once the stop push button is released, its contact will go back to NC position. Once the normal stop sequence is completed, the DOL starter is ready for next start sequence. Last, trip or fault stop sequence. Trip stop means the overload relay have activated. The motor actual running current have exceeded the current trip value set in the overload relay. Once the overload relay was activated, the NC contact terminal 95 and 96 goes to open position. A break in the control loop will be present. The control voltage will be cut out, starting from terminal 96 of OLR, then terminal A1 of KM1 magnetic coil. The contactor coil will then be de-energized, and drop out. The main and auxiliary contacts of KM1 will go back to its NO position. Control voltage will also be cut out starting from holding contact terminal 14, start push button terminal 4, and OLR terminal 96. At the same time, power voltage will be cut out from KM1 main contacts, to overload relay terminal output T1, T2 and T3. Finally, no power voltage to motor input terminals. The motor will rotate slowly, and then come to its complete stop. The overload relay NC contact terminal 95 and 96 will stay in open position until reset is done. If the cause of the motor trip was rectified, the OLR reset button should be manually pressed to normalize the starter. After the reset, the DOL starter is ready again for the start sequence. If you are interested to my channel content and want to see more of this presentation, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.